everyone. How's it going? Hi, Robotnik. How's it going? Shaft, how's it going? Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Ah, general was good. I mean, it was like leftovers, but still, leftovers are good. Is everything okay, Robotnik? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Having a little difficult time of doing the best we can. Oh, is everything okay? Also, sorry about the whole text thingy over here. <laughs> I was uh, testing out something. I love Persona 3 music, but they're so angry. <laughs> it's funny. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, having your loved ones move move away sucks. Yeah, I mean, as as long as, as long as he's happy, as in, like, what he um his prospects for the future. Like, yeah, it's always going to suck, but, but we we all have we all do that kind of stuff, that, thinking about the future. Yoko, how's it going? Thank you for coming. Oh yeah, and before I forget, uh, Al Gurichi, thank you so much for the follow. But hey, if you, if you need to talk about it, you know we're here. Ah, yes. Oh, I, I totally know you were going, you were going to react that way. Oh, by the way, I didn't, I didn't like laugh it was kind of a scoff i mean saying that it was a scoff wasn't didn't make it sound better but like i totally knew you were going to feel bad about the whole conversation yesterday it's just like i said it's for your own good and uh if you still keep on going the way that you are um, i'm done But let us not dwell on that here on the stream. It's a, it's kind of a personal uh, conversation. Mm. It's like I said, I just hope I don't blow up the whole shit. Watch me saying this and then blowing everything up the first time. <laughs> you know, time it's times like this that I'm really thankful I have a really, for, I'm really forgetful. Because... <laughs> 
while I do uh, remember some more remarkable things about the um, about the game, I barely remember anything. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, for instance, I I I now know how we have to save the president. But I didn't even remember where the president was and how we had to save him. Goodness gracious, look at this Yuko. He's he's <laughs> he's always he's always so mm. Uh no no uh it's I, it not it's not poet uh, it's not a cold I meant um I always going to say poetic but no it's a uh, so deep you always bring out the 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 deepest uh, the deepest words <laughs> it's it's like that saying that she was so deep i could see adele rolling in it damn i missed saying this line and i don't smoke weed <laughs> but if i did poof. please don't please don't the world is not prepared for <laughs> the, the, the world is not prepared for for stone Yuku. The moment the moment you smoke weed, it's it, it's the mo it's the moment it's the moment you you reach Nirvana. <laughs> oh, by the way, you guys, um, is um is the music uh too low compared to my voice? <laughs> no, 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 not Olympus. You, you will reach Nirvana. No, it's fine. Wait. Wait. Uh, Yoko is saying it's fine. Uh, Robotnik is saying it's is too low. So I'm going to raise it like just slightly. Okay. How about now? Okay, it's too low. How about now? Cause I'm trying to like raise from the desktop audio. Oh, okay, okay. next year now but I've already decided I mean not entirely I'm still I was going to say I've already decided which song I'm going to to pick for um, for the next um, for the next um, edition of Anisama but not really what I what I really I still don't know. I I am I'm still trying to choose between three. Oh, uh, I'm. Uh, two of them are from Vocaloid, and the the third one is from Persona Three. I will most probably go with the Persona Three because I really want to like translate the song. Then again, the other two are already translated too, and I really want to sing them too. But at the same time, I th I find them a bit heavy for the theme for like the themes of the song of the songs are really heavy. Cause like one of them, everyone really know everyone knows what the song is about. Cause um. 
Because like if you don't know what they're saying, at least you look at the at the music video and you realize what the song is about, which is my arm. And the other one, this this I really don't know if many people know what the song is about, but it's it's also a, a, a really it's a bit of a uh, heavy tone, despite the um, the cutesy um, the cutesy voices and um, and music video and instrumental, which is "Hello, how are you." Like even the even the title of the song doesn't say how how it's not dark. My R is dark. Hello, how are you? Is just sad. Just the person. No, 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 not heart. R, R is in the letter the letter R. My, R. Yes, yes, exactly. Um. No, but but I, I will play the the Persona the Persona Three song that um. It's not this one. <laughs> it's where it's here. It's this one. It's called Brand New Days. And this is like. Out of all the songs, this is this has to be like the easiest one to translate because it's the only. It's not the only song. Uh, Persona 4 also has a song in Japanese. Because like something that Persona really does, something that Atlas does with the with its Persona games is that, oh, sorry, most of the songs are in English. Um, but Persona f uh, 3 and 4, uh, 3 and 4 actually have at least one song that's in Japanese. Though I really don't want to sing Nevermore. It's a it's a good song, it's a really pretty song, but I I like more the like the beat of this one. And there's also another thing about this is that um, I will at least. Like, no matter what song I choose, um, I am going... Like, you have to send the instrumental. When you when you enter the contest, you have to send them the instrumental. And in my case, whichever song I choose, all of them are going to have one thing in common. Uh, I'm going to send them the instrumental with pre-recorded vocals. Because, like, um... And I have to record the vocals, my the back vocals myself, um, because I'm going to sing the the song, uh, one of these songs translated. Like I've already translated the Vocaloid songs, but I really want to translate this one too. And um, and, and so I have to like uh, record the the back vocals so that. They're in in, um, in Portuguese too. But one thing that I'm like not going to do is translate what's in English. Like in this case, like you you heard her say "stay high." Like every time that um, there's like a part at the end of the um, of the chorus where she's like. Uh, let me see. Yeah, exactly. Here, I'll leave the brand new days. Like, even like this part, I'll leave the brand new days. I will sing that part in English because, in my logic, if a song is mostly in Japanese, but it has. Exactly. Um, if a song is in Japanese, but it has some parts in English, I never translate what's in English. Because, like, it's part of the essence of the song that it's in English. 
As I for instance, hello, how are you? Uh, yeah. Uh, for instance, hello, how are you? It has a lot of parts where the the back vocals are singing in, in English, but the main vocal is singing in Japanese. So, what they're singing in English while I'm recording, while I'm going to record what's in English, I say hello. Na -na 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 like those parts I'm not going to translate I'm just going to like sing them because again it's part of the um, of the essence of the song that it's in English I like both um, hello how are you and my are already translated and adapted though my art is not completely uh, translated I still I'm, I'm having uh, a bit of a hard time translating some parts uh, but I'm asking a friend to like review the translation and help me out on that um, um, no I actually could just say like or you know I could fit it but it it's it kind of loses its essence there you guys have never heard me sing so much in a stream <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Like my most recent cover was like me trying out uh, singing a translated version of My Sweetheart from Tokyo Mew Mew. Um, because of the, the new anime. Um, they have a new version of the song which is like a slowed down version. They have a slowed down version of the song. Uh, yeah, they have a slowed down version of the song, and I really wanted to try out how it would, uh, how it would like uh, sit with um, in Portuguese. I think I have the video here. Yeah, no, I don't have the video here. Um, uh, let me check. <laughs> it's so funny that we were talking about the the vocaloid song and now and now Elmer comes and said hello how are you <laughs> hi Elmer how's it going <laughs> I'm doing good we were just uh um we we're just talking about uh songs and covers and stuff see 
Oh, yikes, that sucks, my guy. Yeah. Losing your voice sucks. Catching a cold is even worse. And beware, because uh, it's allergy season, so yeah. Yeah, you haven't. Um, you've missed quite a lot, uh, especially on Metal Gear. my guy you can watch the vods you can actually watch them um the vods are actually now all available on my youtube channel i still need to create like playlists regarding each uh, video game uh oh, that is weird <laughs> usually allergies um allergy season is at the beginning of spring Never heard of someone having allergies in not a <clears throat> like uh, my voice is a bit <laughs> nah uh, because because of allergy season. We're playing. We're playing Metal Gear. I'm just like you know. It's it's the usual thing. I usually chat a bit with you guys. Trees and dust. Ah, oh, okay, because of the trees and dust. No, but that makes sense. But that also makes sense um, in spring, because like the flowers blooming. Uh, the flowers are all blooming, and sometimes you see like those weird fluffy uh, white fluffy things floating around hey zark how's it going yeah go ahead philip what is it <laughs> yeah long time no see yeah my guy i haven't seen you since like i don't know yesterday <laughs> No, no, wait, 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 even longer than that. I haven't seen you, Zark, since like an hour or two ago. Why would I skip the third game? The, the third game has like the best song. <laughs> why, why would I? Why would I skip the? Why would I skip three? <laughs> of course, I'm going to play three and then four, and then five. I don't care. I know it's a prequel, but I'm I'm not playing like throughout the storyline I'm not like I'm not going through the timeline I'm I'm playing through the the release dates uh, by release order Um, oh 
Oh yeah, I, I was going to ask. Um, let me check. Where did I put it? Ah, it's here. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. I guess. Let me check. Nope, never heard of it. My guy, you always go for the most obscure programs. <laughs> like, if you wanted a, f a free uh, video editor program, you could go for DaVinci Resolve. Oh yeah, but I was going to ask, uh, Shep, do you do you want to hear the um, the cover that I was talking about about uh, my sweetheart? You you bought it or you downloaded it? Please don't tell me you actually spent money on that, because the Vinci Resolve is the Vinci Resolve is free. <laughs> My guy, why do you spend money on that? <laughs> oh, come on. Ah. Holy sh! My guy, if I should spend 25 euros on Sony Vegas. Why would you spend 40 euros on that program that looks like it's 20 years old? <laughs> uh, my wallet hurts and, and it's not even it's not even my money. Practically any program that you want. That program is not special. Two hundred, two hundred bucks on that thing. Yikes! Wait, why did I? That's not the one I wanted to. Okay. Oh, I'm not sure what specialties are. Well, I sure hope it has a lot, cause oh, yikes! That's a lot of money. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to like show you the. Uh, so this is the cover I did. For um, for this uh, this anime called uh, Tokyo Mew Mew New. Wait, let me just something is looking weird here. I am not liking this. Okay, now we're. Okay, uh, yeah, 
yeah, the remake. And uh, this is a cover of one of the songs. Mm -hmm. Let me just... Okay, there we go. I, uh, I covered this song in, um, in Portuguese. Also, I'm sorry for the bad quality uh, of the instrumental. Um, there still ha it still hasn't come out in good quality, so I had to make do with what there was. <laughs> okay, let me just read the the comments. Uh, the list so far. So, so hi Johnny, how's it going? <laughs> well, you you got just at the right time. <laughs> I saw the new anime with my girlfriend, nostalgia all the way. I I still haven't finished. Like this whole this whole scene that you just saw. I still haven't seen that episode. I'm still stuck on like episode four or something. Tavo, don't know Sounds good. Ten out of ten. Suck it a year. <laughs> oh, thank you guys. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. J Since we're already here, I'm just gonna. Um. Mm, okay. And, uh, there we go. So I said the name of music seriously, but nicely sung. It was, but it is. It's, it's, do you, do you want to hear, do you, do you want to hear me sing? You, do you want to hear me sing that? I can, I can sing that for you if you want. That was my voice. <laughs> that was my voice. Um, oh shit, I don't have the, I don't have the, the thing with me. You guys, you guys give me just a, she can change the voice. <laughs> you guys give me just a second. Oh, I still haven't started, so it doesn't count. <laughs> but thank you for the reminder. Uh, let me... You did my my heart. Here it is. Mm. June... 
for uh, just uh, say I'm gonna go to bed. So it's okay. Thank you, thank you so much for stopping by, Kari. I hope the the rest of your stream was good. <laughs> then you guys give me just uh just just another moment. Uh, wait, no. I was not expecting to be compared to the fucking cat from Cinderella, but okay. <laughs> um, Cause I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I have no idea who she is or was in this case. Or is, was, was, okay. She died in 2017. Hi Arabian Joker. Thank you so much for stopping by and thank you for the lurk. You need to get educated. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm checking her out now. I'm checking her out now. <laughs> so at the end, but yeah, it was fine. At least I lost a year for sure. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, we sure hope so. <laughs> okay, so Rocky and Bullwinkle. She was Rocky. She voices the magic of the spells. She voiced Granny. No, oh, she voices Grandmother Fa or Hua. Oh, she's the she's the Hazel Witch voice. Okay. Wait, she's the Granny in Time Busters. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. Oh, she she did voice a lot of um, a lot of really iconic characters. And at the same time, most of them I don't really recognize because I've never seen these shows. Or if I've seen them, I didn't see them in like uh, uh, in um, in, I, I didn't see them in, in their original uh, voice. Wow, that is a that is a really extensive career. I'm still in fifty nine. Goodness gracious, that that's a lot of characters. Wow, wow, she even voiced she even voiced in black and white cartoons. Who that is a lot. Wow. Let's <laughs> uh, uh, To Pauline von John Furry, she was for Rocky, Flying Squirrel, I'm about to get the spell, Granny, Lundy Tools, which shows all those Lundy Tools and Disney. We're trying to see this. Uh, oh. She goes all the way back to the... No, yeah, the, the, like, the, the oldest thing she's got uh, that uh, Behind the Voice Actors has is her being a narrator in a 1942 cartoon and her voicing a lot of characters in in 31 like who yay that that is a lot of shows she did in in 31 and and even other things that she You know, things that don't even have like um, the year displayed. Yeah, that that is a lot. But I was going to, but I was uh, what I was going to do, um, uh, Philip, is I'm going to show you that that is my actual singing voice. Give me just. Hmm. 
can't I find the... Oh, sorry. Uh, where is the video? Oh yeah, the video is to like... Uh, okay, yeah, it's... Okay. You guys can hear the, the instrumental, right? I'm guessing you can. Okay. Atei um laço ao cabelo E pus-me a sorrir Senti que me tinha tornado Na melhor versão de mim Basta um pouco de coragem Para ter confiança Tinha esquecido esse facto Até que te vi Qualquer rapariga pode ser Invencível Se usar a I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sitting so I can't. It's showtime. Bate, bate o meu coração. Que quer gritar o quanto te ama. Não posso esconder estes sentimentos. Por isso ouve. Cada dia ficam mais fortes. E Simplesmente deixo-os fluir Conseguirás aguentá-los Por favor aceita my sweet heart Yeah, sorry about that, uh, that part over there I, uh, Because I'm sitting down I can't breathe that well <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, I'm I'm going to like I'm going to let go. Okay, I'm 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 putting this here because like okay, sure, why not? This is you guys. <laughs> uh, I just see that a lot of uh, a lot of streamers. Sorry, I forgot your voice changing factor. <laughs> no, I mean it's kind of understandable. Like, how can someone with such a like thick voice like mine be able to sing <laughs> at such high pitch notes? Um, also, I'm so sorry for my neighbors because it's 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 ten oh it's ten p.m. <laughs> okay, so I was saying there are a lot of people who um who do um karaoke streams, and I'm like, I mean, like yeah, I guess I could do that sometime, but at the same time, I don't know what kind of songs people would ask me to sing, and it's also that thing like singing while you're sitting down is hard. Um, oh, by the way, if you, if you guys, if you guys get ads, please do tell me, because uh, I have pre-roll ads running. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, uh, but at the same time, I'm like, mm, I don't know what else, what, what I could like be singing. And, and also if, if I did them, I would have to do them on, uh, on Saturdays because I really don't feel comfortable singing so late, so late at night. You guys, you guys, you get me? But yeah, I mean, uh, I guess we can try that like, uh, next Saturday, like not this, this one, this coming Saturday, because I'm not going to be home, but like the next one on the... 
on the first. Oh shoot, no, not on the first. Oh my god, I was, you guys, someone, <laughs> someone put a curse on me. I can't stream on Saturdays because I can't stream this Saturday because I'm not gonna be home, and I can't stream the next Saturday because I'm not gonna be home either. Goodness gracious, I should have streamed last Saturday. But I was a bit stressed out, so I didn't want to. Yeah. Goodness gracious. Yeah, though, I mean, I, I could try, like, streaming on Sunday if you guys like. Like, not making uh, the streams on. Uh, because I'm going to my mom's this, this coming Saturday. And the next one, I have a birthday party, so I, I'm not going to be streaming while there's a birthday party. Like, that's rude. And also, I didn't stream this past Saturday because I was supposed to go to my mom's, but we didn't end up going. And I was a bit stressed out because I didn't manage to go. Uh, so I didn't really want to stream because I was already feeling really tired and stressed out over that. And the previous Saturday, I didn't stream because I had visitors because of Anisama. But yeah, anyway. Um, now doing this quickly. Okay. Okay. There we go. And while we're at it, let me change the category. Okay, there we go. Hello, <laughs> Gnam, Yufshking! <laughs> Back to the sneaking suits. I really, I really like the song, but let's let's skip it because I'm really tired of seeing uh, YouTube be like, Ah, oh, you got a copyrighted song. No, Gnam, Yufshking. Desculpa, isto é só fruta podre. No, 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 isto é Konami. Oh, uh, by the way, um, to put you up to speed, uh, Philippe, we, uh, we, um, we fought against Solidus. We finally met Solidus and we fought against him. Okay. Uh... The only way to the president is oh, past right. this electric. Nah, yeah, no, never mind. Uh, do I have? I do. I do have. Uh... Okay, my, I have my life full, so let's. See. Let's see where it is. At. Oh, chef, chef, are you there? Okay, we have solid, liquid, and solids. Where's the gas? <laughs> Does venom count? <laughs> Shut. Look at how much blur bomb I have. What about plasma? Nah. <laughs> Look at all that. I have more than half. I have more than half. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Um. Mm. God, I have to call him again because I don't remember. The only way to the present. Okay. Remote control missile to the first. I don't gotta have this. I'm gonna find them. He just took shell. Oh, okay. Even to have naked snakes. This false advertising is not naked. Find some remote controlled missiles. 
remote controlled missiles. I saw something on B1 in the core of Shell 2. But be careful. Contaminated seawater's broken out of the tanks thanks to that explosion. Most of B1 is probably flooded by now. Gods, now because of all of your jokes, I didn't hear where he was. Uh, wait, let me just... Because that's kind of annoying me. Okay. Okay, now we're talking. Uh... <laughs> okay, let's, let's listen to him again. Have you ever heard of Outer Heaven? Oh, Outer shit. Heaven. Yeah. Know anything? No. What about it? The terrorist leader mentioned it. Something about being close to reviving Outer Heaven. Is that right? Well, do you know anything? No. But whatever their goal is, they're probably up to no good. We've got to stop them. Yeah. Right. Okay. But can you please tell me again about the... You know, I thought I heard of Ains oh, somewhere Jesus before. Christ. DIA would mean we're talking about Nastasha's ex-husband. Nastasha? Nastasha Romanenko? Isn't she the one who wrote In the Darkness of Shadow Moses? Yeah, she helped me out during the Shadow Moses incident. She was also actively involved in the philanthropy organization following the incident. Where is she now? Your guess is as good as mine, but she's probably still a heavy smoker. Wait, my brain just realized who they were talking about. Uh, dumb. <laughs> isn't isn't Nastasha like the Russian the lady from Dead the cell. Jesus Boy, fucking Christ? Will you specialty is knives, but I guess you know that by now. When he was just a kid, he lost his family to a terrorist bomb that went off in a church they were attending. Wow. His body pierced by a crucifix. Oh, Vamp was sheesh. buried under the rubble for two days before he was finally rescued. During those two days, he survived by feeding on the blood of his family to quench his thirst. That was how he acquired a taste for blood. So that's why they call him Vamp. No, Vamp isn't for vampire, it's because he's bisexual. <laughs> Rumor has it, Vamp was the lover of Scott Dolph, the, the Marine Commandant who accidentally died two years ago. Scott Dolph was also the father of Fortune, the Dead Cell leader. Fortune's old man, but Fortune and Vamp... Uh, you noticed, eh? Not bad for a rookie. All right. As you say, Vamp and Fortune are very close. Not lovers, but very close. Friends? No, there's more to their relationship than that. But Vamp was her father's lover. Would it have been better if it was with her mother? Well, I don't really think they care what you think. Focus on the mission. By the way, have you ever met the guy before? No. But he seemed to know you. <laughs> right. Well, I... No. It can't be. What? Nothing. I told you the Dead Cell is a group of madmen. I wouldn't take anything they say very seriously. <laughs> I'm sorry. I need to take a fucking moment. The guy said it's bad because he's bisexual. <laughs> what the fuck kind of logic is that? What? Where? Ah! My brain cannot handle this information. <laughs> My brain can literally cannot understand this whole fucking conversation. <laughs> oh, okay, Nastasha's from Ukraine. Sorry, sorry, sorry about that. It's, it's the accent. <laughs> but I was like, okay, his. It, at first, I was like, okay, his uh, his backstory is kind of gross uh, and tragic and gross. Uh, and so I was like, oh, oh, so his name is Vamp because his, um, because, uh, because he drinks blood? No, it's not because he's a vampire, it's because he's bisexual. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm... We all did, Johnny, we all did. We all thought it was about him being a fucking vampire. And... No, his name is Vamp because he's bisexual. Like, where is the connection? <laughs> All right, everyone. That uh, that's gonna be it for today's stream. <laughs>
<laughs> I am so glad I listened to this shit now instead of on Monday because oh my god <laughs> I will I will forever like I already know it's gonna be written on my tombstone when I'm dead here lies Alexa. she still has no fucking idea why vamp means <laughs> is bisexual <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking, Philippe. <laughs> it's a way of saying that I I literally cannot take anything. I can't take this anymore. <laughs> <I'm sorry>. Okay. <clears throat> can you please tell me again where I can find whatever the fuck I'm trying to find? So Iroquois Pliskin oh, was Jesus an fucking alias, Christ. of course. And the rank of Lieutenant Junior Grade made it up. That's just great. Anyway, I get the Pliskin part, but what about Iroquois? Iroquois is a Francified version of the Algonquin word for rattlesnakes. It's what oh. they called their enemies. Algonquin? The Algonquin Nation, one of the many groups of Native Americans who used to call Manhattan Island their home. The majority of tribes in what's now the state of New York were a part of the Algonquin Nation. So this was a stronghold of snakes. By the way, Manhattan means Island of Hills in Algonquin. Okay, history lesson. Ryden, the node for that area is inside a small room to the northwest. You'd better log in. Finally! <sighs> West, okay. Um... Jesus Christ. Right. I don't know. Oh, that was a grenade launcher. Oh, you're right, it is. <laughs> Massage, how's it going? <sighs> I wonder what connection between vamp and bisexuality is. To Google. Ta -da -da. I really need to start adding that uh, Batman transition here. Okay. Anyway, whatever. I'm clearly not gonna get anywhere. Shept, you know what time it is. You there, Shep? I want you to say it with me. You ready? Shaft, are you there? But yes, uh, please, Johnny, if you find out why, uh, what is the connection between vamp and sexuality, please, uh, please tell us. Ah, dang it. Glitter bomb! There we go. Oh, damn, that, that is a lot. Oh, oh, that was beautiful. Oh, shit. Of course I was gonna fall. Of course I was gonna fall. Ryden, is something wrong? Ryden. Ryden. <clears throat> what is a, um, a Metal Gear Solid um, gameplay without you dying in the first life up? <laughs> Ryden committed suicide. Um, let me just... Um, I can't... Why can't I ever go this? <clears throat> don't uh, don't don't take me wrong here, uh, Philippe. But let's um let's try not to say those things on Twitch. Also, um, would anyone mind uh, doing the um, the command, please? It's a uh, exclamation point death.
Thank you. Um, okay, you can <laughs> you can do it next time. You can do it next time. Anyone can do it, so like... Wait, that's not allowed here. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm going here. Oh, what the? Go ahead, Elmer. Right. Is something wrong? Right. Right. I think was against it. Um. It kind of is. Yeah. Okay. So whatever. It's not here. Fuck it. Um. Let's see. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> okay, okay. That was amazing. <laughs> oh, come on, Robotnik. I told I told the guy you could. You're always doing it. Oh wait, there's an Akita here. Okay. That was getting kinda sad that we didn't have one. Yeah. Oh, ration. Um, oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Nice. This is some time you can do the next turn. How dare you ruin my job? <laughs> You're not even getting paid. <laughs> okay. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Nice. I'll go again. There's a woman who uses her charm or wills to seduce and exploit men. Huh. Ah, there we go. And that is weird. Promotion four. <laughs> <laughs> Did we get a promotion? <laughs> oh, okay, I know where I am. Uh, I'm not supposed to be here yet. Okay. Uh, there we go. Yep. Okay. Stone part of its job. Wow, perfect. That looks like coconuts. What the fuck are you guys talking about? I don't even know what AOSTH means.
Okay, uh... Damn, I got 20 chest grenades. Let's go. What the hell happened? Right, right in. I don't think I've heard that line before. Can I become this here? Okay, like, okay. okay, so I can't go here. So I can't go over there because of this. Yosh! Almost. Oh! Almost went. Okay. And I can't go there because the door is not working. Like, yeah, the door is not working. We're gonna. Going through the elevator? Is that? Is that what I have to do? Because I could almost swear that I don't need to go down there for now. I mean, I could be wrong. No. Uh, I'm pretty sure that if I go down there. Okay, um, I guess there is no problem. one is completely flooded from what I can see. You'll have to swim through. I'm fine with swimming. Stroke the water and move forward by pushing the punch button. Push it in rapid succession to swim faster. Change your heading with the left stick. Up will take you up, down takes Whoa. you lower. Left and right to face those directions. The Yo. O2 gauge will appear under your I'm sorry, was it just me or did his, the gauge his voice change? To the amount of air you can hold from a single deep breath. Once the O2 gauge falls to zero, the life gauge will start to drop. You need to be aware of that. Was it just me? Or did anyone else notice that his voice changed when he was giving like those instructions? It did, didn't it? It's like... It's like it got like more stern and deep. It's like you went from this to this. It's kind of weird. Uh, let me just answer this. Uh... Duh. Okay. Oh, uh, but it's bad. There's no huge follower. Sorry, I'm trying to serve rules. <laughs> 
Yeah. There's Veneta. I'm sorry, what? <clears throat> okay. Oh, gods. Oh, gods, the controllers. Ah. Ah, what the hell? Okay, 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 okay. 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 Um. Oh, okay, I got it. So, uh, wherever there are these, uh, kind of, um, like, blue thingies on the map, it's where I can go to. Oh god, the controllers are awful! I hate it! Okay. <laughs> Crap, crap, crap. I don't even know what that is. I don't care. I don't care. Oh no. Oh shoot. <laughs> oh, that was that was close. What are sections in video games are fun? Sarcasm. <laughs> no, because like the problem here is that the, um, the controllers are kind of inverted. Ki I mean, kind of. Because like you press circle to dive and swim. And, uh, how is it? If you... It, it's weird, like, it's... I don't know, I was kind of expecting that if you put it, like... You put it, you pull the, um, the joystick down, and it goes, like, up. And you pull it up, and it goes down, but no, it's the opposite. You, you go up and it actually goes up and it will go down and it actually goes down so it's kind of weird okay robotnik fuck you Can can you not see that too? Say that too very good. Nah, nah, cause that's gonna invert the other controllers too. It's, okay, so I'm at the beginning again. No, I didn't. I am never not gonna love how this guy goes up and down the stairs. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so let's see, what do we have here? Okay, so I'm in the middle of this thing... Dang it, it's trying not to. No, go the other way, the other way. Go down, down, down. Now go up, 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 up. Oh, okay, there we go. Let's have some of that. Hmm. 
Are you being holy sh? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? I completely forgot about that guy. <laughs> Fuck this game. <laughs> Thank God I was really shut and didn't see that. Yeah, thank fuck you were. Some of that too again. No, who the fuck told you to go there? No, I want you to go there. Go there. Go there, son of a bitch. Jump scares in my Metal Gear. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Good, awesome. That that's great. That's good. That's good to know. That's good to know. Like. <laughs> Here is gonna be Prince. You are fucking with me. He's not. He's not coming to spring it. Fuck you. He's not coming to spring it. You are. You're shitting me. Philip, I swear to God, if <clears throat> what the actual oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, you have got to be shitting me, my guy. <laughs> Yo, what the f Bro, what the f Eu acabo de anunciar isto há tipo 7 horas. Mas aparentemente tipo, eles vão estar todos a, lá nos dois, di nos dois dias, uma por cima, a dar autógrafos. Apparently. Uh, Yeah. Yep. No. <laughs> no, I said no, I said no keep because I love you to say it. Yo, what the fuck okay, not gonna lie, the guy's the guy's kinda hot. The guy's kinda hot, not gonna lie. Alright. <coughs> I said it, 
The guy is hot. <laughs> no, not sprint. It's spring. Spring it. Nah, no worries, no worries. Oh my god. I s Bro. <laughs> I swear, this... I am still wondering how the fuck they're gonna pay all of these people. Because it, it feels so weird. Great, I don't even have... Yeah, I only got level 3 card. You didn't know? I've been talking about that for quite a while. Why is the good stuff so far away? Oh, you tell me about it. Now I want to go, but at the same time I don't want to go because it's so far away. And I don't even know how much the the tickets cost. Well, yeah, you do, but Johnny lives in Gaia, and I live in Lisbon, and it's it's still really far. I got there on time. Okay. Why is it not? Okay, it's not going. It's not going. I don't care. I don't care. Go, 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 go up. Go up. 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 Okay. It's not fair. Bring the good shit of Portal 2, man. Thing is. It's not even in Lisbon, this thing. We already lost Comic-Con. That's okay, because Comic-Con is now shit! You know, it's quite ironic. Every, th every time something is in a portal, and they take it from there to bring it to Lisbon, it goes to shit. Be lucky that you still have Ivaranim. Lisbon also has Ivaranim! It's, again, the, everything that Porto has, either Lisbon has it too, or has it solely for them, and it either goes to shit, or just stops existing altogether. Y'all remember that thing with Red Bull, about the uh, Red Bull Air Race, the thing with the, with the planes? I think if I ever go to Gauntlet, I might have to find some place to slip there. Well, yeah. That is true. That is true. July 15th and 16th. Like, Colas is in the middle of nowhere. I really am wondering how they're going to get so many people to go there. Whatever did happen to the Red Bull thing. It just stopped existing. Because... Uh... Because, like, Lisbon decided that they wanted to um, uh, to host a Red Bull Air Race. And the first year they did, it went so bad. There were, like, so many dangers. It was such a hazard that Red Bull Air Race was cancelled altogether in Portugal. It never came back. That's what happened. And then, then there's Comic Con, which a lot of people said that it was, uh, I know it was a, it was good, it was okay, but when it went to to Lisbon, a lot of people said that the quality just like went to shit. <clears throat> Sorry. 
Okay, mm let me check. How much are the tickets? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 25. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, they, they only... Yeah, for now they only on their uh, extras for autographs, selfies, and professional photos. They only have they still only have Rob Paulson, Maurice Lamarch, and Nolan North. But then again, they they just announced they just announced David Hayter seven hours ago. So damn, but. But like, Damn, really loving how one of the um, how one of the one of the bullet points for uh, the cosplay contest is um, we will not accept at the contest designs created by artificial intelligence platforms. Nice. Uh, AI denied. Yeah, AI completely denied. Let's go. Damn. Great Scott, finally. Yeah. Ugh. Finally. Finally, indeed. Okay. Ah, let's continue. I don't know. Let's talk to the Colonel, I guess. When you're on the surface, you can swim in corresponding directions using the up, down, left, and right movement of the left stick. Push the punch button to dive down from the surface. Ah, we couldn't notice so well how his voice changed. Yeah, it was. Jack, is that you? See ya. What I wanna be ya. Remote controlled missiles. I saw something on B1 in the core of Shell 2. But be careful. Contaminated seawater's broken out of the tanks thanks to that explosion. Most of B1 is probably flooded by now. Okay. Okay, so that's where we are. Right. Cray, she's not gonna sass me. No, it's not Jack, it's Pinocchio. 
Did I miss something? Why is it Pinocchio? Okay, that's Pinocchio. <laughs> okay, okay, I got it now. <laughs> Who's calling? Who calling? I I ca I you think have I caught the something. Control missile. Good okay. Job. Now head for the first floor of the Shell 2 core. Take out the power source and make contact with the president before the launch code can be reconfirmed. Hurry. Okay. I don't know how much extra usually are just asking for a friend. Beats me. They're they aren't really saying anything for now. Which is kinda shitty, not gonna lie. Uh wait no. That's nowhere. This is where I had just come from here. Oh gods, where am I going? The autographs and the photos. Oh no! What? What happened? Ah! No! What? Oh, puta que pariu! Ah, you said you know. Okay, I'm I'm fine, I'm fine. I am fine, you guys. I hope. Ah, that is that is really nice to know. Um, the game just froze for some reason. That is a. Uh, that is real Gucci. That's that's real, really nice. Perfect. That's that's just perfect. Ah, that is that is also really good to know. Um, I am sorry, you guys. Uh, it's a bit of a technical issues. I, uh, for some reason, I was like almost losing. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, indeed, indeed. I guess. I hope it's saved. Cause I'm gonna be really fucking pissed if it didn't. Your voice sounds evil and your avatar looks funny. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> but yeah, uh, bottom line is Vitus really is really thinking. It's kind of sus there. That uh, Springit is managing to uh, bring so many, um, so many known people to the convention when it's not even a Comic Con, Comic Con's level uh, of convention. You know what I mean? And I'm with him. It it feels weird, and it feels even weirder that they say they're. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to repeat all of that. <sighs> no, that's probably about what I'm pondering. It's me. Um. There, there isn't. 
I just went to their website and there's no information about prices uh, regarding um, autographs and uh, photos. By the way, uh, Robotnik? I'm gonna have to sell a kidney. I sure hope so. Yeah, I know. Oh my god, that's it. You have that... the remote controlled missile. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Why did you say death? Why, why did you write death? I didn't die and me having to turn off the game does not count no it wasn't I was going to say careful because there's gonna be a jump scare again unless I think so <laughs> okay, uh so the jump the jump scares now. I'll tell you when to look again, okay? Wait, wasn't it here? Oh no, okay, never mind. There was no uh there's no jump scare, it's already I hate this color. Why do I have to be the pink one? I hate this color. <laughs> well, that's the funny thing. Uh, here it's pink, but when I look at the chat, it's actually green. Is it better for you that way? Because I honestly, I, I can't, I can't change the. Because like I can't change the. on my side huh on my side it's it's blue my end it's purple and my end yours is uh orange uh like a yellowy orange kind of like tails color you guys I already figured it out I already know how they're gonna get the, the money to pay the, the actors I already under I already know how they're gonna pay for the actors they're gonna pay for the actors with the actors because think about it Uh, yeah, for me, yours is also uh, uh, red. But yeah, as I was saying, because think about it. Look at all the names they're announcing. 
there's gonna be a lot of people who want to go and take pictures with all of these people. I can already tell that the prices are not gonna be low. So yeah, as much as I would love to go to spring it, we're not gonna go because it's gonna it's gonna be expensive as shit. On many on many points, because like being two people, it's already gonna be like either thirty or fifty. Because like thirty if we decide to go just one day, fifty if we decide to go both uh, both days. Then if we wanted to like take a picture or uh, get an autograph, we would have to pay for those, and I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be uh, it's not gonna be cheap. Yeah. Expect much. There we go. Ugh, finally. Oh, uh, and uh, we're gonna save. Ugh, sorry. Chat, yeah, do you need to say but low, what a genius move. No, <laughs> exactly. Speaking of autographs, I was looking at yeah, no, 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 Georgia Cavan, Cavan, no, 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 no. Nice. I don't know who the guy is, but nice. I mean, yeah. I also do hope that you, that you get back what you, uh, at, at the very least, um. Hey, I'm picked up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I do hope that you at least get back what you paid for. But more than that, I, I, all I can say is good luck. Okay, so uh, now I have a Nikita. Oh, it's got a 20. If you know, of course I know my guy. <laughs> and for a bullet. sure you're gonna get accepted for the event. It's like that conversation we had yesterday. Oh! Oh, now you appear! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, how much? Okay. This talk of convention reminds me. I don't think I've been to a convention since I've been over to. I haven't been to a. I mean, not. I, it's not that I haven't been to a convention. I haven't been to a big convention like eBay or Comic Con since 2016. You know, the one at the. Um. um at the. Uh, customs? Still waiting for the zombies in this game. Zombies? It's in a zombie game, my guy. <laughs> what are you talking about? There's no zombies in the game. Come on, I don't know we're trying to join along the streets. <laughs> I'm just kidding, my guy. I'm just kidding. No pressure in being here. I mean, the real one was there. I have no idea what shark I was talking about. I understand. 
understand. I understand. But again, it's like we told you, they're smaller conventions. They care more about their reputation. Ebert doesn't have a reputation to, like, to maintain or to, like, uphold and stuff. Ebert already has its reputation and nothing's going to ruin it. No matter what. Every year from 2012 to 2019, solid run to, but ooh, the price. I've been from, uh... Uh, 2000, 2011 to 2016. 2016 was the last year I went. And I only went because I won the, the, the tickets. Well, I'll stop here. The last thing I want is lose my friendship because of all this bullshit. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's this way. Okay. And what the f okay. What is it? Ah. Would have been funny, but uh no. you gun you're useless no it's not useless oh yeah uh the vent when you also go to comic oh yeah yeah you're right you're right i did go to comic con 2017 that was the last big convention i went to Because it was, I mean, Jack. He didn't throw it. It was like punching. He was like he was swinging it. My first color going. Hmm. Oh yeah, I um, I bought a ladybug sticker from you that year. Could have thought. I know, I know, but I, I don't remember where the vent, uh, where the vent shaft is. Uh, let me, let me figure it out. Oh, oh, okay, here it is. Oh, lol. Yeah, uh, uh, that's the only go that I went to, was there that I got my drink, but there's, ah, okay, okay, that explains. Two or three comic cons. It was like from the second generation. I went uh, to the first and the last uh, uh, comic con in Porto. Only when they went to live and they got a special conditions. Look at my girl's friends. The, the conditions got worse. Yeah, the, uh, from what I hear, a lot of people say the conditions uh, ever since they came the uh, comic con came to Lisbon are shit. Not again with the. Oh, okay. Dumb. Okay, now we're talking. Oh, shit. She goes to perish, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Who's calling? 
Oh, wait, it's the, uh... Okay. Fire remote control missile from a dark small room on the southwest section to destroy the electric distribution panel with ease. Okay. Death thingy, do not. I made that mistake. Uh, so, <clears throat> who isn't better than Lizzie? Yeah, that's all. Jesus, I feel old. <laughs> With the president, that's the first year. Listen, they got a little better. Listen, they already said you killed a man. He had a family. I know. He's the president. He's the guy we have to save. That's why I failed the mission. <sighs> the president is down. Okay, then mind is full. Socom is full. So we have the Nikita here. Uh don't have it here? No? Okay. This time I didn't ruin your job saying that joke. <laughs> uh, okay. guy. I, I had to do it like that. I like how this game calls missiles bullets. <laughs> That's why I never eat president. I got some, I got for some Philadelphia. Boom! You suck! That was a terrible joke, my guy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, that, ugh, that was a terrible joke. <laughs> Go sit in the corner and think about what she just said. <laughs> yeah, I know, this is going to a little bit better unless they get more attention to cosplayers. I guess. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> I've still got 27 more tries. Oh, what is fucking hell. I like how the guys are like, what the hell is that? But they still don't come out and like... Ugh, fucking hell. L. Uh, Pikachu Pat. Pikachu Pat? <laughs> no, no, Pikachu Pat. Like, patting, pat, Pikachu patting in the back. Uh, yeah, plenty of people do Marvel say it. Uh. I hate how this sometimes goes way too fast. What 
is there? Hey. How am I supposed to do that if the guy just... Ugh. You did your best. <laughs> uh, and I got hungry in the process with some gummies. I do. I do want some gummies. I deserve some gummies for having to read that awful joke. <laughs> Dude, just call me. Be right back. No worries. By the time you're here, no worries. You don't need to say what you're going to do. Uh, but by the time you get back, I'll probably still be here. And this part. Oh, Jesus Christ, I only have 20 left. The Nikita is really interesting, but it's really hard to, uh, to control it. Oh, Jesus Christ, I swear. Cause like their missiles are really hard to control. Cause like sometimes they go really fast. What? What is that? Oh my god! Finally! Finally! Oh sour gummies! Yes, please! Oh, I love sour gummies. I love sour gummies. I had 30. I, I spent literally almost... Ugh, sorry. I spent literally half of my uh, ammo. Uh, Mr. President? President Johnson. Huh? So you're finally here. You've been expecting me? Your equipment, that skull suit, isn't exactly standard military issue. Are you all right, sir? Is this some kind of sick joke? I thought you came to kill me. What? I'm prepared to face the consequences of my betrayal. What are you... Oh! oh. Hmm. What the... You're a man? Hmm. Well, well who made are you, you think I wasn't... Oh, my God. Foxhound, sir. Foxhound? Yes. He I could, see. Yeah, he, no. Now yeah, things no, are starting he, to he, make a little he sense. Us there. <laughs> yep. Switch yeah, over he to did. nano communication so nobody can listen in. Yes, sir. Send you in the game. <laughs> Do you read me, sir? Uh, yes. Mr. President. It's my understanding that the terrorists have managed to input the code sequence necessary for launching a nuclear strike. That's correct. I punched the sequence in myself. You're working for them? If you asked me two hours ago, my answer would have been yes. Right now, they're keeping me alive until my vital signs are reconfirmed. They betrayed you? I wouldn't quite put it that way. I wanted power. They sought destruction. But why stoop to terrorism? I wanted absolute power. But you're the president. You have power. <laughs> no, I'm just a figurehead. Uh. Huh? I don't have any control. The real power is in the Patriots' hands. The Patriots? The truth behind this country. I'm not surprised you've never heard of them. Very few are aware of their existence, even among those with code word clearance. Huh? Politics, the military, hey. the economy, they control it all. They even choose who becomes president. Putting it simply, the Patriots rule this country. That is scary. Wow. <laughs> Hard to believe, isn't it? But it's the truth. The space defense, income tax reduction, and national missile defense programs. Every policy that's been credited to me was actually done according to their instructions. Space defense was initiated by Congress. That's what the Patriots want the country to believe. It's all a show. Democracy is just a filler for textbooks. Think about it. Do you actually believe that public opinion influences the government? No. This country is shaped and controlled as the Patriots see fit. The people are shown what they want to believe. 
What you call government is actually a well-staged production aimed at satisfying the public. Huh? Don't look at me like that. I'm legally sane, you know. It's not your sanity that worries me. The Patriots. Even I don't know who the actual members are. Are they financial, political, or military leaders? No one knows who the Patriots really are. Even my instructions come from a cutout. All I've been told is that every key decision is made by a group of 12 men, known as the Wise Men's Committee. Your office? The White House? Merely puppets. Pawns in a game. By pledging my loyalty, an insignificant son of a senator was awarded the presidency. Hmm. Of course, that wasn't the only price I had to pay. What do you mean? Even if a pawn becomes a queen, it is still just a playing piece. I wanted to leave my own mark in history, but my ambitions were... You'll understand someday. I wished to be a member of the Patriots. I wanted to wield the power of a king instead of being an expendable pawn. And that justifies <coughs> acts of terrorism? Yes. I'd intended to use the new Metal Gear as a bargaining chip. Bargaining chip? But I underestimated Solidus. He actually wants to challenge the Patriots, even if it means the destruction of the world. What are you saying? Whether you believe it or not, the balance of power rests in the hands of the Patriots. They regulate the country's various interests through controlled presentation, staging a drama that is palatable to the general masses. Can you imagine what would happen if they ceased to function? Picture a massive political vacuum, a space that every power monger will try to fill for their own greedy ends. I'm talking about an unregulated power struggle, panic, civil war, chaos. Like it or not, the Patriots is an organization that must continue to exist. So you changed your mind because you wanted to avoid global chaos. Exactly. When I told Solidus that I wished to prevent disaster, he replied that pawns can never become players. And who is this Solidus? My predecessor, George Sears. That was the name the public came to know him by. I knew him by his code name, Solidus Snake. He was the third snake, preceded by Solid and Liquid, a survivor of the Les Enfants Terribles project. Neither Solid nor Liquid. He was a well-balanced masterpiece that the Patriots saw fit to entrust with the presidency. However, he fell out of grace with the organization four years ago. When acting on his own, he started an incident. Four years ago? Shadow Moses! That's right. At the time, the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, together with certain influential parties, initiated the development of Metal Gear Rex and an advanced nuclear warhead. However, this Remember did not this fall shot? in line with the Patriots' plans. What's more, Solidus decided on his own to send his most trusted man, Ocela, to provoke Liquid Snake, bringing about the said incident. As a result, he succeeded in obtaining Rex and the data on the warhead. But in doing so, he ended up revealing the existence of both Rex and the Genome Army, a blunder that earned him the wrath of the Patriots. Shortly thereafter, Solidus was removed from the presidential office. <laughs> no, nice one, Robotnik, nice one. I thought he resigned. <laughs> That's the story given to the general public. Following his resignation, the Patriots selected me, their new pawn for the presidency. But that would mean that the presidential race was... That was quite a show, wasn't it? It was a well-scripted drama staged by the Patriots for the benefit of the public. Even the Democrats and Republicans were dancing to the Patriots' tune. Everything went according to plan, but for one exception. Huh. Following his resignation, Solidus' health was scheduled to fail him, bringing about his untimely death. Capped? Correct. But before the Patriots could execute their plot, Solidus went underground with the help of Ocelot. As he avoided pursuit, Solidus gained control of Dead Cell, winning over Colonel Golukovich's outfit. From there, he bided his time, knowing that his opportunity would soon arrive. 
What opportunity? The completion of the new Metal Gear project. An opportunity that would even his odds against the Patriots. By stealing the Patriots' most valued project, he would be able to place them in a very uncomfortable position. It's the only chance he has for survival. Once he has the new Metal Gear, he'll declare war against the Patriots. Needless to say, he must be stopped. Metal Gear is already operational. No, not yet. Hmm? What you saw was Metal Gear Ray, hijacked two years ago from the Marines by Ocelot. That was not the new Metal Gear. Then where's the new Metal Gear? Right here. What? You're standing in it. To be more precise, this entire big shell facility is the new Metal Gear. Would you say? No, I'm quite serious. The upper structure that you've seen is camouflage, designed to represent an offshore cleanup facility. The main structure extends from the foundation all the way down to the ocean floor. The connecting elevator is located on the B2 floor of the Shell 1 core. Arsenal Gear. That's the code name for the new Metal Gear. Arsenal? That's right. Arsenal. We're talking about an impregnable fortress carrying a load of over a couple of thousand missiles, including nuclear warheads, all protected by a horde of mass-produced Metal Gear Ray units. Mass-produced? The Ray unit was originally designed for the Marines to be used as a countermeasure against the Metal Gear variations throughout the world. The Patriots had Ray redesigned to protect the new Arsenal gear. So now anti-Metal Gears are guarding a Metal Gear. Ironic, isn't it? That's not all. Arsenal Gear has full access to the military's tactical network, giving it the ability to exercise absolute control over our nation's armed forces, not to mention our nuclear armament. In short, Arsenal was created to be the core of our country. What kind of idiotic weapon? Weapon? No. You're not seeing the full picture. Hmm? Arsenal Gear is more than just a military tool. It is a means to preserve the world as it is. It will establish a new form of control. The Patriots will use it to keep their place as the country's true rulers. Right now, they feel pressured and threatened. By what? They fear an overabundance of digital information. The world will drown in the coming flood of information, and they along with it. Hmm. The Arsenal plans include a system to digitally manage the flow of information, making it possible to shape the truth for their so own much purposes. Silence. That's In short, gear the for Arsenal you. system is the key to their supremacy. The key? Yes. The GW system is the Patriots' trump card. Arsenal gear will be fully operational when GW is successfully integrated. Once operational, it will be a completely new form of power for the Patriots to wield. I had hoped to seize the project from them, so that I would be in a strong bargaining position. Bargain for what? I'd hoped to trade my way into their ranks. The Solidus preferred rebellion. Outer Heaven, his plan to unleash a nuclear blast over the skies of Wall Street to break the Patriots' control over the business community, is also a key factor in his offensive effort. Outer Heaven? Listen, there isn't much time. The football served as the key for activating Arsenal gear. I've already input the necessary code sequence. It won't be long before GW begins to establish connections with other external systems and Arsenal gear becomes fully operational. Stop them before that happens. That is your role. Role? You've got to find Emma Emmerich. She's the only one who can stop that thing once it's been activated. Emma Emmerich? She's the system programmer for Arsenal Gear. I believe she's somewhere on level B1 in the core of this building. I thought the levels below us were flooded. I'm sure they won't let her die just yet, as she's the only remaining programmer for this project. According to Ocelot, she was being held in a locker room located in the northwest part of level B1. Cut transmission and get moving. This is card four. It'll give you access all the way to Emma's location. Oh, nice. Give this to her when you find her. What is it? A program for disrupting the control functions between GW and Arsenal Gear. Take Emma to the computer room on level B2, Shell 1 core. She'll know how to load the program into the main system. 
A virus? That's right, modeled after fox dye. A biological weapon designed to selectively eliminate personnel with a specific genetic code. But why do you have it? The Patriots had it engineered as a failsafe. And Ocelot forgot to search me. You've got to hurry. That disc is the only way you're going to stop Arsenal. Well, I've told you everything you need to know. There's only one thing that remains to be done. Huh. Now, kill me. What the? There's no time to argue. Tense. The final check for my vital ID will start any second. If you kill me now, you'll at least prevent the nuclear strike. Cut it out! Uh, do it! That's your role! Uh, oh. No! So, uh... Can we, um... Can we get some That's messages in the chat for the right. president? Free speech, Mr. President. Or is it... Ex-president. The president! Why did you... Alas, my finger must have slipped. I'll see you around, carrier boy. Forget him. He did us a favor. Without free will, there is no difference between submission and rebellion. My only real choice is to put an end to this charade. Let me at least have the freedom to end it myself. What are you... Find Emma. Stop Arsenal. This is my last order. As your commander-in-chief, I'm counting on you. <sighs> He did have a point, though. <sighs> okay. Okay, so let's... Uh, I'm gonna end it here. So, basically what I'm gonna do is... Uh, okay, okay. So this... Okay, and there we go. Colonel, the president is dead. I see. I'm sorry to hear that. Where do we go from here? Your mission was to rescue the president and eliminate the terrorist threat. However, given the recent turn of events, we will honor the president's last directive. You must put a stop to Arsenal gear once and for all. Do you actually think there's any truth to his story about this big shell facility being a front for Arsenal gear? I don't have the security clearance necessary to verify the facts. However, he was the president. I'm sure he knew what he was talking about. Aren't you forgetting that he was part of the terrorist plot? All the more reason why I believe his information is reliable. Huh? We're talking about a man who chose to die rather than risk a nuclear holocaust. Thanks to his sacrifice, the nuclear launch authority has shifted to the vice president, effectively eliminating the terrorist threat. Colonel, when you put it like that, it almost sounds like I should have assassinated the president to eliminate the threat. That was not my intention. I was trying to point out that there is certainly some credibility to the words of a man who chose death to protect the innocent. The Colonel has a point, Jack. What about the information he gave me on the Patriots? That's a new one on me. I'll see what I can find out. <sighs> Raiden, we're running out of time. Find Emma. She's supposed to be located on level B1, in the core of that building you're in, right? <sighs> You've got to find her before Arsenal becomes fully operational. Hurry, Jack. It's up to you to make sure that the president didn't sacrifice his life in vain. Understood. Raiden out. No, not Patreon. What's not your Patreon. Status, Raiden? Snake, the president, he's been assassinated. What? There was nothing I could do. What about the nuclear strike code sequence? He died before his vital ID could be reconfirmed. Then the enemies lost their nuclear strike capability. But that Ocelot guy obviously killed the president on purpose. Why? It doesn't make any sense. They had to know that they couldn't launch the nuke if they killed the president. Maybe there's a way to launch without reconfirming the vital ID. 
Or maybe they found a more effective weapon within Arsenal gear. You knew about Arsenal gear? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me about it? You never asked. Am I correct in assuming you also know that the Big Shell's a front for the project? You mean, did I know that the Big Shell, a fully functional environmental cleanup facility, was designed to camouflage Arsenal gear? Yeah, I did. It's exactly what the President and Ames described, a massive cover story. The good news is that it hasn't really done much in terms of cleaning up the environment, so we won't have to worry about any toxic gas being released if we have to blow the house down. Right. And when did you find out about all of this? It took a while, but we uncovered the info around the time you took out that mad bomber. There's no doubt that Arsenal gear is being built here. And it was all set up two years ago, on that day. All of it. Two years ago? What really happened here? I took these photos two years ago. I know these pictures. They were on the news on several websites. If I remember right, the reporters blamed you for sinking the tanker. That's right. Otacon, me, we were used. We'd hoped that by going public with photos of the new Metal Gear, we could persuade the government. At least that was the plan at the time. Two years ago, Reminded the Hudson River, <laughs> we had learned that a new Metal Gear model was being secretly transported. When I think about it now, we should have known better than to trust the information. I'd infiltrated the dummy tanker to obtain proof that a Metal Gear was under development. Shortly after I made it aboard, an armed group led by Colonel Gerlukovich raided the ship and gained control. Olga and Ocelot were among the raiding party. Yeah, and him. Who are you talking about? A man that was supposed to be dead. Their target was also Metal Gear Ray. But Ocelot eliminated Colonel Gerlukovich and Marine Commander Scott Dolph, and he hijacked Ray. So he betrayed them? I don't know what kind of deal was going down. All I remember is what Ocelot said at the time. Something like, I'm taking it back. Ocelot then sank the tanker, along with the soldiers of the Marine Corps. How did you manage to get out? Otacon managed to have a small boat ready for me. That was the easy part. The tough part was not getting dragged down with a sinking tanker small miracle when you think about it. It turned out that the whole thing was a setup to lure us. Damn. Photos of Snake, taken by the Cypher, were released to the public. In turn, we became the world's most wanted environmental terrorists. <laughs> it was definitely a move aimed at putting a stop to our anti-Metal Gear activities. But why did they choose Snake? Since the Shadow Moses incident, Snake became sort of a hero. I think the Patriots weren't too happy about that. You knew about the Patriots? Well, yes, to a certain degree. It seems like everyone knows about them except me. They didn't choose Snake to be a hero, so they decided to do a smear campaign. I think the Patriots wanted to make an example of him so everybody would think twice before opposing them. That's it. They set all this up just to nail you guys. No, there's more to it than that. The Marines Metal Gear Ray project, headed by Commander Dolph, was carried out in opposition to the Navy's Arsenal Gear project. To be more precise, the Patriots considered Metal Gear Ray to be a thorn in their side. Hence, they attacked the dummy tanker and stole Ray. They followed this up with a perfect plan. They immediately sent a fully loaded tanker to the same location and sank it then set up the facility to camouflage the development of Arsenal gear. And we fell for it. Two more puppets in their show. Colonel Gerlukovich and his daughter Olga? Both fell victim to Ocelot's plot. Was Solidus behind all this? He used Ocelot to get hold of Ray, huh? No, he was underground, keeping a low profile at the time. Then it must be the Patriots. If that's the case, what's Ocelot doing alongside Solidus? Hmm. Forget it. We're wasting time. We can figure this out later. The nuclear strike's been prevented, but Arsenal still has a massive payload of missiles to deal with. Right. If the opposition gets control of those missiles... Raiden, you've got to find Emma. Wait a second. Isn't Emma Emmerich... My sister. 
What's she doing here? You got me. She's a computer whiz who specializes in neural AI and ultra-variable volume data analysis using complex logic. How she got involved in weapons development is beyond me. Hmm. Whatever her reasons, we need her in order to stop Arsenal. Raiden, find her. I'm on my way. <laughs> Bianca, thank you so much for the raid! Uh, <laughs> uh, give me just a second. Give me a second. <laughs> Something is that shout. <laughs> Hi, Carp. How's it going? Oh. Thank you so much for the follow. Well, I guess this is a singing stream. <laughs> that was beautiful. That was beautiful. I did. I didn't. I didn't know you sang too. I mean, Jesus Christ, what can't you do? <laughs> Jesus Christ, girl, what can't you do? You write books. You cosplay. <laughs> you you stream. Oh, uh, yo yo sixty five ninety eight. Thank you so much for the follow. Um. Oh God. Uh. Wait. You guys. You guys. Give me a second. Because I know. Uh. I know that. Uh. The thing played, but uh. It didn't. Let me just. Uh. Sort of comments. And. Shout out. And. Command with. And. Here we go. And test command. Okay. So there we go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, so yeah, you guys go check out uh Bianca Muse. She was playing. Oh, you were still you were playing. Yeah, you were playing Dark Pictures Anthology. A little hope. How was it? A lot of jump scares. We actually had a jump scare in this game too. <laughs> and this isn't a horror game. Now imagine that. <laughs> um. For those who have come with Bianca and don't know me, my name is Alexa. I am a half human, half fox. Um, right now we're streaming Metal Gear Solid to uh, Sons of Liberty. I was actually just finishing the stream too. The music is my area of expertise. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, that's right. I, I almost forgot, yeah, you also play the violin. Well, I mean, playing the violin doesn't mean you can sing, but in your case it does. <laughs> I've just been killing everyone apparently. Oh, that's okay. Uh, we were trying to save the president and he also died. Though we didn't kill him. Though he wanted us to kill him. <laughs> oh, believe me. It's been so much so much exposition right now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I stream every day uh, from uh, Monday to Saturday. Though I'm having a, a lot of problems streaming on Saturdays because... Um, I don't know. <laughs> I always get something to do on Saturdays. I, I think I'm going to start uh, streaming on Sundays. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that man had a family and Alexa just let him die. How can you say that? He wanted me to kill him. It's not my fault Ocelot got to him first. <laughs> There's a reason the guy's name is Revolver Ocelot. <laughs> Stop blaming me for people's deaths. <laughs> Though yeah, I did kill him once. That that is on me. <laughs> <coughs> oh Jesus Christ! Ah. Uh. So yeah, I was um I was just about to finish um to finish uh, the stream right now. He wished to die, and you granted his wish. I didn't. There was another guy, which is like kind of the villain of the story, and he killed him. It's, it's still kind of like a bit confusing. That's Metal Gear for you. Metal Gear is kind of confusing. You've got to really stay focused so you understand the story. No, but like the guy literally grabbed my gun and was trying to say, pull the trigger, pull the trigger, because he wanted me to shoot him. Yeah, that, that's kind of that's kind of it. And now we got to say this, um, this girl, uh, Emma Emmerich, which is the... 
uh, the sister of uh, Hal Emmerich or Otacon, which is kind of like um, Solid Snake's best friend. You played Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> ah, that's where you're wrong, my guy. I've only played Birth by Sleep. That, that's the only Kingdom Hearts game I ever played more than. I, more than like a, 10 hours, I think. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, so today was Metal Gear Solid 2. Tomorrow is going to be Sonic Advance. Uh, I was going to say Sonic Advance 2, but no, it's actually going to be Sonic Advance. And on Friday, it's going to be Disney Dreamlight Valley. And on Saturday, it was going to be like a variety stream. But uh, not going to stream because I'm not going to be home. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to... <laughs> but hey, uh, by now we should have a uh, rose saying something interesting, so if you guys wanna, wanna stay to hear that... Jack, do you need to save? Okay. No, this is a model of her first color with his modern design. <laughs> Jack? What is it? I've always been alone. Huh? I'm so lonely. Lonely? God, the music Rose, stopped. Rose, we've always... Not always. What do you mean? You've never slept beside me. What are you talking about? I... After we've been together in my room, you stay awake all night, or you head for the door. Is this really the time to bring this up? Why, Jack? Why? Listen, Rose, I'm right in the middle of a mission, and I... Why? Why can't you relax when you're with me? Look, the mission, I... Why don't you open up to me? Rose, I, I just can't. All I ever wanted was to share your dreams, to spend a meaningful evening with you. I just wanted to find you by my side when I woke up. Is that asking too much? It's the night. I'm scared of the night. It's got nothing to do with you. Scared Bye, of the you night? Too. Thank you so much for What's coming. What's that supposed to mean? I can't relax when I'm with someone. Jack, you wouldn't even let me in your room. I need privacy. I just can't be bothered. Bothered? Wrong oh. word. What I wanted to say was <sighs> that there are certain things that I have to keep to myself. Do you remember that time I forced my way into your room? We'd known each other for almost a year, and you blew up. It was the first time you ever raised your hand against me. Oh my god, she's crying. I was so worried about you. Look, I'm and sorry. He was going to it wasn't your her. violent nature that scared me. It was your room, your heart. Stop it. There wasn't anything in your room. Only a bed and a small desk. It looked like a prison cell. <sighs> Rose? No television set. No family pictures. Not even a poster. Rose. I only use that room for sleeping. A lifeless room. Almost like your empty heart. That's why I tried to keep you out. I thought I was beginning to understand you. Until I saw that room. Would you have been happier if I had a picture of you hanging on the wall? That's not what I was trying to say. Enough, Rose. We'll talk about this later. After the mission. Right. After the mission. I understand. Damn, that um, that was heavy. Yikes! That's metal gear for you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, I'm going to. Uh... That don't sound like a healthy relationship. It doesn't. That's that's what's so weird. I really want to play. I'm just do it. You have to. It's it's really good. They're, they're really good. Though, I have to warn you about this. Uh, the second game, which is the one I'm currently playing, it's going to feel a bit slow-paced for the first... Uh, uh, seven to eight hours, I would say? But it's really good. Like where I'm, where I'm at right now is when the story really starts to get good. It starts to get really interesting. 
That's where this is where where all the action comes now. I'll throw your dad naked body after this mission. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, Kingdom Hearts is a confusing fun trip. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts is a confusing fun trip. Metal Gear is just a confusing sad trip. Uh, no, but it's it's um, it's got really interesting topics. It's a bit heavy on the topics, but it's really good. It's like oh oh shoot, I completely forgot to like. <laughs> like you do with the French girls, exactly, exactly. Oh yeah, and uh, as you've noticed, Bianca, uh, Robotnik's doing some uh, a lot of Titanic jokes regarding um. The characters that you just saw talking um, and it's um that is literally it the um, the creator of the games really likes the Titanic so he wanted to have the characters Jack and Rose from the Titanic in one game <laughs> but the funny thing is that uh, Robotnik started making the jokes way before we even got this information yeah it was really interesting to know that. <laughs> uh, one of my followers, Arabian Joker, um, did confirm that. Like, I didn't even ask him. He just said, oh yeah, the, the creator really liked the Titanic, so he wanted to have the game, uh, the character, the protagonist's names in, the, in one of his games, and I was like, okay. So all of the jokes that Robotics been doing since the beginning uh, have been correct. <laughs> Ah, okay. Oh, what is that? Oh. Oh. That is so much. It is. I was like, oh my god, what? Feels so unreal, like. <laughs> uh, oh. Now I'm just rendering the first half of Fortress of Recreation and Looney Tunes Bugs Bunny movie that was never officially dubbed. Huh. Well, I have to go for today, running out of battery, I have to go rest. It's okay, thank you so much for the raid once again, and uh, thanks for, for staying by a bit. Uh, I'm also going to be finishing the, the stream in no time, so... So you're not going to miss, <laughs> you're not going to miss much, no. I'm just a... Uh, oh. MG4R is playing Ghost of Tsushima. Hmm. I'm just uh, checking who I am. Um, gonna run into the tomorrow is Rose and so fun facts tomorrow. You know what I'm also ex what I'm also waiting for, my guy? I'm still I am still waiting for my gift. You said you have my you had my gift ready by the 17th or 18th. It's the 23rd. Where is my gift? Hmm. Hmm. Where's my boy? Give me my boy. Give me my goodest boy. I want. Give. Hmm. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Good <laughs> snooping as usual. Yep. Yeah, he is. I'm a certified Sonic nerd. He is. I can confirm that. He is. And he was almost going to like beat me up when I told him that I like all six. Yeah.
because I really need to to catch up on all those. God, I really need to catch up on those dungeons. Back in the day, but I've changed my ways. <laughs> I just love I just love teasing you about it. <laughs> Sorry if I'm missing a mouse down dog no he is. I can also attest to that. But I have to admit, I can't wait for a uh, Friday stream because I've been playing um, Dreamlight Valley these past few days um, just so I can have like content instead of like having a more paused stream where I'm like, I have no idea what to do. We're going to be doing like a lot of quests. I'm an inspector gadget nerd. She is. But do not sing the opening song. Wish I could say I was a, a certified nerd in, in something, but I'm really not. The last mission ever done. Sorry, that's not the correct name. Ah, uh, yeah, she did. She did suggest it. You know what? I I'm really hoping that my um that my uh, stream doesn't get like flagged for this. I'm going to play this song. I'm going to play the song to end the stream. Uh, okay, there we go. So yeah, I'm gonna like keep talking to you guys a bit until like the song starts playing. Oh, but it's gonna take a while until we get there. Cause like for now, she's taking care of Pokemon. Then she can choose uh, Inspector Gadget. Wait, what, what? What do you mean, wait, what? I'm saying that after Pokemon, you can choose to to do Inspector Gadget. It's in the rules. You guys can choose that. Okay, there we go. 
no, I said she was doing. You could, I said you could go on about doing, Inspector Gadget. But yeah. Anyway, let's finish the stream here. Uh, we're gonna be raiding tier seven. He's playing Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, and we're finishing with this song, which you heard at the beginning of the stream. So... Anyone got any ideas for a, for a hashtag? I'm running I'm 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 running low on ideas. I'll go not over tomorrow. <laughs> you go, Elmer. Thank you so much for being here. President the president's dead. <laughs> Arson <gasps> We're gonna we're gonna go with, with Johnny's idea. Let's go with Arsenal Gear <laughs> Arsenal Gear Elixir. Bye Elmer And uh Let me just Okay Okay There we go Bye everyone, and don't don't forget Arsenal Gear Elixir. 